Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to solve a 1D transient convection problem using analytical and finite difference methods. This is part one of the presentation. In part two, we will solve the same problem using additional finite difference methods. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D transient convection problem. We will solve the problem using analytical method and using finite difference methods. The finite difference methods that we will be using in this part are the lax Lax-Vendroff one-step method and the McCormick method. Our 1D convection problem is given here. We have a constant area tube that is filled with a stationary incompressible fluid that has a very low thermal conductivity so that we can neglect the heat diffusion. The fluid is heated to an initial temperature distribution Tx, 0. The details are which we will be looking at in the next slide. So the heat source is turned off at when time equals 0 and the fluid is instantaneously given the velocity u equals 0 0.1 centimeter per second to the right. So our interest is to find the temperature distribution in the tube with time. The 1D convection equation is given as Ft plus u times fx equals 0. F is a function of x and t and u is the convection velocity. F represents the dependent variable and can be temperature or concentration or other parameters. We have a propagation problem governed by hyperbolic PDE. So we have to use appropriate methods, finite difference methods to solve this type of problems. If F represents temperature, we have F of X comma T equals T of X comma T. Accordingly, equation one can be represent, uh, represented as tt plus u times tx equals 0 and this can be represented in a different form as dou t over dou t plus u times dou t over dou x equals 0. Here t represents the temperature and is a function of x and the lowercase t time. The initial conditions are given as t at x comma 0 equals 200 times x where x varies from 0 to 0 0.5 and t at x comma 0 equals 200 times 1 minus x where x varies from 0 0.5 to 1 and t x comma 0 equals 0 outside the above range. The 1D convection equation is reproduced here as ft plus u times fx equals 0. Suppose we have an initial condition f of x comma 0 equals uppercase f of x then the solution f of x comma t can be uppercase f of x minus ut. This can be verified by substituting the solution given in 4 into our original PDE that is 1. The first finite difference method we are going to look at is the lax Lax-Vendroff one-step method. Coming back to the 1D convection equation, it's reproduced here as tt plus u times tx equals 0. t is a function of x and t. Using Taylor series expansion for time, we have t of x comma t plus delta t equals t of x comma t plus dou t over dou t at x comma t times delta t plus dou square t over dou t square or x comma t times delta t square over 2 plus of the order of terms of the order of delta t cube. This can be represented as t i n plus 1 equals t i n plus t t i n times delta t plus t t t i n delta t square over 2 plus terms of the order of delta t cube. From equation 2, we get tt equals minus u times tx and tt which is dou square t over dou t square equals 
t t in brackets t is equal to minus u times t x t which is equal to minus u times t t x here the partial uh, uh, the variables x and t can be interchanged in this uh, uh, particular equation so we have t t equals minus u times within brackets minus u times t x x which is equal to u square times t x x when we substitute equations 6 and 7 into 5 we have t i n plus 1 equals t i n minus u times t x i n times delta t plus u square times t x x i n times delta t square over 2 plus terms of the order of delta t q which is shown in, in equation 8 equation 8 is reproduced here again when we use second order center difference approximation for the spatial derivative terms which is tx and txx and when we truncate the remainder term we get tin plus 1 equals tin minus u times ti plus 1n minus ti minus 1n over 2 delta x times delta t plus u square times ti minus 1n minus 2 times tin plus ti plus 1n over delta x square times delta t square over 2. Let c equals u times delta t over delta x. Here c is the current or the convection number. Then we get tin plus 1 equals tin minus c over 2 times ti plus 1n minus ti minus 1n plus c square over 2 times ti minus 1n minus 2 times tin plus ti plus 1n. Equation 9 shown above is the finite difference approximation of the 1D convection equation when we use one step lax windorf method. One step lax windorf method is an explicit method and is conditionally stable. The stability criteria is given as C equals U times delta T over delta X which should be less than or equal to 1. The error is of the order of delta T square plus of the order of delta X square. For non-linear PDEs and multidimensional problems, the lax windorf one-step method can get very complicated and so we need to use other suitable methods to solve such problems. The second fine difference method we are going to look at is the McCormack method which is given as TPIN plus 1 equals TIN minus C times TI plus 1N minus TI n and t i n plus 1 equals half times t i n plus t p i n plus 1 minus c times t p i n plus 1 minus t p i minus 1 n plus 1 here p represents the predictor term equation 11 is the predictor term uh, the predictor equation and equation 12 is the character equation or the final equation. So equations 11 and 12 collectively show the final difference approximation of the 1D convection equation when using McCormick method. As mentioned before, McCormick method is an explicit two-step predictor correction method and is conditionally stable. For the linear convection equation, the McCormick method is identical to the one-step lax windorf method. But for nonlinear PDEs and multidimensional problems, the McCormack method is much more efficient than the one-step lax windorf method. The stability criteria is the same that we have seen for the one-step lax windorf method, which is C equals U times delta T over delta X should be lesser than or equal to 1. And the error is of the order of delta T square plus the order of delta X square. Now we can go to the MATLAB code. We can now look at the MATLAB code for the 1D convection equation for the analytical method. Here the convection velocity u is given as 0.1 centimeter per second. The distance 
for the initial temperature profile range L equals one centimeter. The number of spatial segments M is given as 10 so that we get delta X equals L over M which is equal to 0 0.1 and the total time is given as 100 seconds the number of time steps as n as 100 so that we get delta t equals n t over n delta t equals 1 in this case n u represents the current number which is given as u times delta t over delta x the general code is given over here We will now run this code and look at the results. So the initial uh, temperature profile is given on the top left hand side and the final temperature profile is given at the top at the, at the bottom left hand side. At the right hand side we can see the variation of temperature with time. Since this is a convection problem, we can see that the initial temperatures profile is just getting shifted towards the right, which is what is expected. If we go to the uh, first, our first finding difference method, which is 1D, uh, sorry, which is lax vendor of one step method all the parameters are the same and we can run this code as well in this case the current number nu equals 1 so the finite different solution and the analytical solution they match and that is what we are seeing now so now let's change the some parameters for example, the number of time steps. Let us change that uh, from 100 to 110. So this changes the current number. So the current number is now 0. Point, about 0. 0.9. And let's look at the results. In this case, we are seeing some variations between the analytical solution and the finite difference solution. So the temperature profile uh, the temperature sort of generally dropped a bit in the finite difference method so this is like introducing an artificial diffusion into the problem in reality we don't have any diffusion but the the solution method the finite difference method approximation we considered has introduced some diff artificial diffusion and so we get uh, an uh, error in the solution. We will now go back to the second finite difference method which is the McCormick method and we will keep the current number as 1 and uh, run the code and we will look at the results. In this case as in the previous uh, lax van case the, since the current number is 1, the finite difference solution and the exact analytical solution, they match. We can now run one more case by changing the current number from uh, 1 to a lower value. Let's change the number of time steps from 100 to 110. So the current number is uh, 
0.9. So in this case, we see a similar phenomena where the where we find some artificial diffusion introduced into the problem due to the fine difference approximation. It's a numerical um, error introduced. So to reduce the error, we need to reduce the time step as well as the space step. We'll now go back to the PowerPoint and summarize what you have done so far. In this video, we presented a 1D convection problem. We solved the problem using exact or analytical solution. We discretized our domain and solved the problem using one step, lax Vendroff and McCormack finite difference methods. We varied the current number and presented the results using MATLAB. In future videos, we can explore more challenging problems. If you have any questions, Please post it. Thanks for